Hey everyone, it's Jeannie here, and today I am so honored to be joined by a trailblazer in the gospel industry, um, someone that I admire very much, Grammy Award winning <laughs> artist, Kurt Franklin. Honestly, hey, hey, hey. I just, I'm always honored to chat with you and just to see how God continues to use you to do incredible things mm. is really encouraging. Wow, well, it's so good to talk to you again. You and I have become really good buddies and and it's always an honor man and thank you thank you for sharing your platform with me I mean that's not something you have to do and so I'm very grateful that you do it of course and you know it's an honor especially when you're doing things like what you're doing Kurt Franklin's a gospel Christmas I saw the title come up on my emails and I was like whoa what is this talk to us about it how did you get involved in this um, what I what I hear it's the first gospel Christmas film ever. Man, you know I was so excited to be invited, um, and and this is an opportunity just to continue to just to showcase just the viability of the genre, just to show how uh, you know just how much this music can live and survive outside of just Sunday morning. That that it can be uh, on 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 TV. It, it can be in movies, it can be on Broadway, that, that gospel music has always influenced American music. And so, uh, you know, from your biggest pop stars, uh, you know, they, their musicians and their band and singers are all from the black church. And, you know, and, and so we see just that influence all over popular culture for years, um, from Elvis Presley to Kanye West, right? And so right. Uh, when, when I was approached about um, just being a part of the movie musically. And I was like, no, is I want to be a part of it more. It's, it's, I want this to be an opportunity. And so the incredible executives at Lifetime and the team, uh, Tracy and Leslie and Eric and Ron and, and even Michael Chen, who created the movie, uh, was a fan of my gospel album and, and wanted to include my, my music all in the movie. <clears throat> and so I was like, well, no, let me be a part of it deeper. I, I want to be a part of this process even more and so uh we were able to rebrand it um kurt frank's and gospel christmas to be able to engage in another level and i was excited they were excited and so it's been fun it's been great and so uh i'm looking forward to people seeing it um december 4th 7 p.m central and uh it's going to be a great moment for the genre for the community and with lifetime i think it's going to be a really great event it's mind blowing to me that it's the first gospel Christmas film. Um, I mean, but I think about who else better to spearhead it than you, you know, for my, you know, for me anyway, it is something that you've just, the gospel genre is something that you've taken and, you know, it's, it's just become a part of both mainstream and church. Um, so I'm grateful, I, but I, I am, my, my mind is blown that it's the first one. I'm like, how do we go this uh -huh. long without a gospel Christmas film? It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know, but I am hoping that we will see many more gospel uh, influenced films and, 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 and TV shows and, and content because is, I think that there's that deep of a well of talent within the genre to be able to do those things. Absolutely. And musically, like you said, it's just, it, there, it's, it's definitely informed most of the music that, you know, modern people, you know, modern pop culture is, is now. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the themes that we're going to see in the film. I did get to uh, screen it briefly. And, um, you know, I really enjoyed watching a young female pastor, um, which just even <clears throat> that sometimes can be controversial, right? Uh, help us, Lord. Um, but help <laughs> her, you know, walking into a call that, you know, she was kind of afraid to. She felt like mm -hmm. maybe she had to fill her mother's footsteps. Her mother is also a mm -hmm. preacher. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and, and it kind of dealt with the identity, you know, issues that sometimes as believers we have. Yeah. Uh, can you talk to that in particular? Because I'm a pastor's wife and I see it all the time. I feel like most of the people that we disciple, mm -hmm. the main thing, the main issue or, or, you know, stumbling block sometimes is, you know, there's a lack of knowing, you know, who you are in God and yes. walking in yeah. that. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and, and I think that you structured it greatly that, that I think that, that the agenda should be 
first of all, as far as it be male or female, that the gospel of Jesus Christ is being preached and that we're getting it out and that we're sharing with the world. I'm, I'm you know, I don't want to get into doctrine and 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 bibliocentric theories. I just want to be able to tell stories that align with 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 the totality of the gospel and the truth. And so, um, and I think that um, there there have there haven't been enough honest conversations about identity and value and 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 the esteem of knowing that we don't have to be cookie cutter like 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 there's not only a church culture there 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 are churchisms you know like oh praise the lord brother oh blessed and highly favored and a lot of times especially when i was coming to church if you didn't sound look and act the way that the seasoned saints wanted you to that you didn't have a voice and so you always having to look like other people. You, um, there's a lot of assimilation that has happened within Christian culture. <clears throat> and so uh, hopefully this movie does show the story of the come as you are. It's a very true, it's a very true lens to see, uh, you know, uh, to see all the sheep, right? Uh, you know, to see all of us at the foot of the cross needing this incredible story of amazing grace, you know, and, and, and uh, if it's if it's a uh, young black, old, or white man or woman saying that Jesus is the light of the world, I'm gonna say amen. So amen. Me too. <laughs> you know, and, yeah, and I'm yeah. grateful for that because I didn't grow up in the church who <coughs> I came to Jesus and it was really a conversion. It wasn't even like I, I didn't even mm -hmm. understand cultural Christianity. So I know people probably even still mm -hmm. look at me like you know, and you know, I'm definitely not what you would expect, but you know, I'm so grateful that I have and that I can use my platform to say Jesus is Lord. Um, so I'm yeah. grateful that, you know, there's content like that. Um, and also another theme in the film uh, explore, that's explored in the film is church hurt, which um, I feel like if you go to church long enough, <laughs> if you're alive, mm -hmm. you've been hurt by the church somehow, yeah. which, which yeah. is so heartbreaking. Yeah. That That's actually really <clears throat> sad. Like if an unsafe person is listening to this, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not a really good reflection. Of, I agree. Of, I agree. What the body should look like, but can you kind of talk to that um, church hurt yes. and just kind of, yes. you know, what what it should look like? <laughs> yes, and 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 I think that you know it probably even needs to be at some point even rephrased from church hurt to to people hurt. Is I think that we sometimes yeah, right. make is I think that we make the building of the institution this magical kingdom that that we expect it to be, which is our fault, which is which is which is the mistake of the culture to create this this misnomer that that there's a spirit of perfection that has to be implied when you have a when you have a canon of 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 uh, uh, of, of a sacred writings that showcases uh, uh, winos and murderers and adulterers and bums and prostitutes and liars and connivers and schemers, <laughs> but then we want uh, the uh, the a tangible church to look like uh, this ivory snow place of worship when the manual is full of you know you know uh, so uh, goons and and uh, you know and, <laughs> and, and and just you know you know just just. Uh, just a hot mess right and it just shows <laughs> yes. and it just shows the backdrop of this incredible incredible depth of grace that has always been needed and i believe that the intent was always to show this is what i want y'all to see what y'all look like without me right mm -hmm. you know and yeah and 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 to give us the true story of why the son of man came yes. is because on our own we are we are a mess and so oh, that's why yeah, I, I, we're all that. yeah 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 so for those that have been hurt by the institution i do hope that we can change the conversation of uh not putting an expectation on ourselves or on others to be nothing but sinners saved by grace mm, beautiful yeah so good what do you want people to take from uh a kurt franklin's gospel christy i is i want them to take away a good time is I want them to enjoy that that every platform does not always have the same purpose, you know. That uh, this movie is not the pulpit, right? You know, this movie is not a uh, 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 Wednesday night Bible study. You know, you can't say, "Oh, <laughs> they didn't they 
they didn't even have an altar call during the credits. You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. And that's why I want to, uh, to, to, to deconstruct what we think 21st century evangelism is. Uh, some things are just for fun. They're just entertainment. You know, when you go roller skating, you don't get, you know, Christian roller skates. You just get roller skates, you know? And, mm -hmm. and so uh, yeah, uh, this is a movie that feels good. It, you know, it's going to inspire you and it's going to make you feel good. And if it leaves you with a hope, and it leaves you with the seed for uh, to start a journey of seeking. Those are beautiful things, and I and I pray that 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 every opportunity is is a moment to point people vertically, but but to uh, have this overshooting attempt to make everything a suit and tie, a Bible and an altar call is 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 missing the opportunity to also be light in the world. Mm. Amen. One last thing, um, you know, I was just gonna, I was just gonna say this, and you kind of set me up for it. But um, you know, you're very good at. I'm gonna use maybe controversial language, but infiltrating, you know, um, different circles with this light, with you know, the, the message of Christ and hope. Um, and I know you have a new single with Mariah Carey. Someone was very mm -hmm. instrumental in my life because God used her music to save my life as a child. I didn't know it was God. I didn't even know God. Um, wow. But it's why I didn't kill myself. True story. Um, wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. And um, I know, and I, you know, I'm sorry, I got all deep, but that's, you know, no, that's, that's the that's importance beautiful. of an artist like that, that, I, you know, someone who's unchurched, you know, a girl of the world and God uses, you know, uh, she was a pop star at the time, you know, still is, but, um, and it kind of led me to this place where I am now. And well, here we wow. are talking about Jesus. Um, wow, but, that's beautiful. Um, yeah, um, and, and I'm so grateful. You know, I say it all the time. Thank you, Lord. You know, he used music to save my life. Um, and here I am. But talk about that. Being I'm going to tell her that. I'm going to tell her that. She Please needs do. to know that. <laughs> Yeah, She's I mean, and tonight. it's a true, true story, and um, I'm very grateful. But talk about that having collaborations with artists that you know have, uh, you know, have different audiences that are able to mm -hmm. hear of the mm -hmm. hope that we mm -hmm. share. Yeah, it's. I think the biggest danger always is for me for any Christian artist to make crossover relationships the goal of your life. Like I, like I've met many, many people. And that they feel called to cross over, and I think that is so dangerous. I think that that is a dangerous mm -hmm. that that is a dangerous. I'm called to make God smile. That's what I'm called to do. Mm -hmm. Is I'm called to make just to make my father proud of me. That's what I'm called. And, but because if you do that, then you miss opportunities to be light. And you may want to. Be, and God may call you to be a light the next day in a crack house. So if you're only limited to a platform of minister to celebrities. Well, somebody in the crack house may get missed. And God may want to use you in the crack house. God may want you to go to the uh, mission and to uh, do concerts for elderly people. I can't do that anymore because I'm working with celebrities. And so for you to determine to God what you feel the beat of your heart is instead of allowing God to give you a heart transplant is I think that it is a missed opportunity to be like him in the earth. Mm -hmm. And that feel good to me. Job. Did that feel good to the audience? Did anybody here feel that? I want to know <laughs> hey, if anybody man. else felt that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> about the shot over it. there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, Kurt, thank you so much. You are a blessing. And um, I'm just grateful that God continues to use you in every way that he does. Is there anything else thank you'd like you. to add? No, it's just great seeing you again. I think your story is beautiful. I really came with share with her. And, I, and, and once again, thank you for always inviting me to your platform. I, I really, really appreciate it.